Hey everybody, welcome to the Circle Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Ian, at, alongside of... Now, nah, man, I'm always the condescending asshole. <laughs> you are, <laughs> I man. am your host. It just, that, that time it just came I out. I do the like, jams. I am, I am the creator. I fucking invented this shit. And By the way, <laughs> now we just cut off everybody's host. Like, you, your name don't oh, matter. Let's just move on. Come on, it's just wasted time. And here's Christian, a much more competent host who actually knows what he's doing. Instead of going off on these rambling little tangents about how he knows how much... Oh, God. Uh, uh, Pat, quick, say something. Well, he's introduced me as Pat, so... Oh, that's your name? Uh, just, that is my name, yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> I don't, you just never talk, so I don't know. Man, this all world... All right. <laughs> what, what, I, I, feel, I feel like the world is so hectic right now with all this shit going on. I, I think it might need a little saving, don't you think? A little saving? <laughs> saving, well, you But know. we can Fuck save that, that for a little bit, because yeah. uh, we got some drinking to do. Happy birthday, Mexico! Yeah! That's not, not what it is. I was going to say, I don't no. think Cinco de Mayo is Mexico's, Mexico's birthday. birthday. See, I think it is, man. I think it might be. I think, I, you're, I think you're wrong there. I thought that Cinco de Mayo at this point was basically just like mayonnaise with sriracha, but... No, oh, what? <laughs> mayonnaise fucking, with sriracha, I don't know dude. what you're referencing, but that sounds incredibly disgusting. <laughs> what? Sriracha mayo, really? Oh, actually, no, that's, okay, actually, no, no, it's fucking really great. Yeah, it's it really is good. It's it's good I don't on, know like, why those two amazing. ingredients said separately sounded weird, but when you uh -huh. said them quickly in order, all of a sudden I was like, oh, yeah, no, oh, I'm down yeah, for that. Dude, it's pretty good. <laughs> really. Really. Just, that's like what that's what determines when I, whether I'm into something. Like one second of spacing in between the words is like either, oh, I'm down for that, or like, no, no, get that no, shit. No, 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 fuck me. that. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it is Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> and you know, do you guys know like the actual origins of Cinco de Mayo? Because a lot of people get it wrong all the time. I thought it was Mexican. Yeah, well, and that's what everybody thinks too. And even yeah. I thought that for a long time. And I was Mexican, and I celebrated this with my Mexican yeah. family. Quarter Mexican, Mexican, don't Mexican. overdo it. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, I don't. It doesn't really count at all. You God. know, I haven't actually. Oh, I have been to Mexico. I've made the pilgrimage. I think that that counts. Does, oh, that, oh, does that up my no, 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 no. Like, like thirty five percent at least. First of all, okay, the Mexican pilgrimage is fucking. <laughs> well, I going get like government money now. <laughs> <laughs> Is there schooling for you? <laughs> dude, the Mexican pr pilgrimage is from Mexico to America. That's, you did it in that's reverse, actually, dude. <laughs> that's true. The kind nobody, the pilgrimage nobody wants to make. I think that, I think that means you, that, that's even more percentage. Yeah, right? oh, you, did, you did it back. There you go. That's true. Actually, right now, a bunch of people are leaving, but let's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, but back to that. The origins of Cinco de Mayo actually come <laughs> from... Something I had never really heard of until a few years ago, which was like, hmm. uh, it was when they were fighting the French yeah. in the Battle of Puebla. And not only that, it is not celebrated in Mexico. Really? Isn't that weird? Like it, That is a little they, strange. It's not a big thing in Mexico. Just be, The only people who really celebrate it are people inside the village of Puebla and like some people around it. And America just took to it because I we we like to get fucking we drunk. Like to party. It's, excuse, it's the same reason we took the St. Paddy's Day so well, because we just like to get fucking wasted. For whatever fucking excuse, you know. So of course we have Coronas and and yes, yeah, tequila of being here tonight. Wasted. What are we drinking mm -hmm. here? So obviously a Corona because you know <laughs> Corona Mexico. Oh, don't forget, it's, it's like the perfect twist of like good beer that seems like it was brewed in a really dirty factory. That's what yeah. I always like about Corona. It's like you know there are at least a few rats that got past like the government inspection. Oh, of course. Well, actually, oh, no. Yeah. The, uh -huh. the government ins the government inspection uh, per parameters make it so that you can have a certain amount of rats. <laughs> That's so. comforting. Yeah. Well, you know, for instance, I saw what you can do. Did you not know about this? I did not. Know well, about no, that. there's a certain amount of uh, like insect shit that oh, you I've and legs that, that you yeah. can have for, like, in, in candy bars. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. That's fucking disgusting. Honestly. Well, it adds texture. It adds texture. That's <laughs> is that. That's why they leave it in. It was like you know, honestly, it's I mean, actually better like, this you way. Know. You just don't have a cultured palate. That must be it. Eating your steak medium raw and shit. Are you kidding me? You no, are I'm saying not. I don't have a what? culture. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Medium rare. I, I, that was Ian, when obviously steak, a joke. How is it tempt? How is it tempt? You go medium rare, dude. That's the that's what you do, no matter what. Medium rare is what do you do? How you make steak? What do you do, Mr. I don't fucking. I don't eat steak. Yep. I just. He was just saying earlier today that he's never had like really good steak. Like no, every time I've he's had, had steak, it was steak. like really hard to chew and like shitty. And it's like, wow, Who I feel so it? bad for you. My father. Oh, so he likes his meat well done. Oh, just shoe at that point. There's no point to it. Well, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's if even it's, that. If it's a medium rare, it could also be chewy. If it's Well, but it's, it has to be the right cut then, you know. I've cooked my own steak and put it in recipes, and it, I enjoyed it very much. Yeah, I could, yeah we, we made that the, one steak casserole thing that was pretty that was pretty. The Philly good. cheese steak yeah. uh, lasagna. <laughs> the weirdest oh, lasagna. Oh, lasagna. Oh, but it was so it was like, Yeah, it was a Philly good. cheese steak lasagna. The weirdest thing I've probably did, no, he made it. 
I think, think we made it. No, I yeah, have, we just I have, got the stuff at my place, and then we... I had I, a legit Philly cheesesteak the other day, and it was fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, because Philly like cheesesteak tender was amazing. Tenderloin what, Cheese whiz? No, 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 no. Then it wasn't an authentic Philly cheese. Sorry, bro. No, we cheese didn't use it either. real, so... What? That's not real. No, that's like the original, though. That's what yeah, the... Yeah, but that's not real. Fine. It's whatever. OG cheese. Before we completely forget, we're actually drinking uh, Cabo Wabo tequila today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Started a little bit early. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's see. Let's see. It smells nice. <laughs> it smells nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that stuff. It's just got, like, it's got a real nice bite to it still that doesn't, Ooh. like, keep it, like, so smooth that it tastes watery. It's pretty smooth. It smells yeah, like... I like it. But it's got that, it's got that upfront flavor, yeah. you know, that really heavy aroma that comes through. I could oh, drink that, drink... like, straight. That is it's literally great. what I was just yeah. going to say. Yep. I you love could this just stuff, sip man. that straight. Well, it's like it's like a forty dollar bottle too, so it's it's like it's not cheap. No, but you know, I just choose right. not to drink it straight. I didn't, <laughs> I'm sorry, was, I had to. Uh, cut it with like just a bunch of water, oh, and then there boy. you go. It's perfect. It'd yeah, be fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh man, Lord have so, mercy. Have you guys had a chance to look at that? Uh, the new incarnation of Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> yeah, all the, the he, second he's coming. got the new show on Netflix. Yeah, the, he's trying to save the world. Basically, he is trying to save the world by telling us all about alien abductions and sex, genders I- issues. It's it's gonna save the world, man. Uh, no, it, it, it's a really it's it's weird. It is the most convoluted, unusual show I've seen in a while. It yeah. is pretty strange. Yeah, it seems like the the production <laughs> value team uh, left a lot to be desired something i noticed right off the bat and this is something that doesn't even fall on him you know we can get into the stuff about him but (laughs) uh just off the bat the first thing i noticed in in the first show is the pacing is really weird and the entire way it's framed is just really unusual it's they have these like five or six different types of segments where they have like the science intro and then they have the the guest who comes on and like talks for 15 fucking seconds and usually who like it's just some pop celebrity, yeah. That they doesn't. They're like, not yeah. scientific. Invites, yeah. Well, then, and then he has a panel, which I was excited for, but you know, it, it that falls flat a little bit. And then he goes on. And to it do, ends really abruptly. Yeah, it's and really just quick. in general, it's very. It felt like they wanted to do an hour show, but Netflix was like, "No, you don't get an hour show." Yeah, and they just rushed all this material. Yeah. In. Well, I, I can I submit a theory that I don't quite subscribe to, but it might. Have some weight. Throw it out there, man. Well, <laughs> disclaimer. <yeah>. Disclaimer. <laughs> um, the target audience is basically it's supposed to be people around our generation, the yeah, types who the grew up who... with Bill Nye. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, people of our generation, we want things, we want them now, we want them fast, <laughs> right? And I yep. wonder if maybe that might have been the philosophy going in. Yeah, you know. If so, it's not well implemented. Yeah, you know, the weirdest thing to me is it just felt like, uh, it felt like the audio engineers forgot to do 90% of their job. Because if you remember in Bill Nye the Science Guy, oh yeah, they constantly had all these funny sound effects and they kind of kept Bill Nye's half funny humor really funny. By, by pushing that extra boundary yeah. of like having that, that physical comedy aspect. Like a laugh track. Well, even beyond a yeah. laugh track, just like, you know, when he would like, he'd, he'd move a skeleton's finger and he'd go, rip, rip, you know, and it would be like, oh, that's just no, like. I'm saying that's the equivalent of a laugh oh, track in a sitcom. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there wasn't really a laugh track. No, no. Well, there, there uh, is. Probably in ironically. In, uh, oh, in, in Science Guy you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, in Science Guy. Yeah, because they do use a laugh track and saves the world whenever like jokes fall flat and stuff. And you, can, and you know, because I was watching this video of this guy's analysis of it. And uh, it is just this, like, you hear this woo in the yeah, background. It's the yeah. same woo every time. It's like, why would you not pick an audio sample that had, <laughs> didn't have a distinctive woo, like, and right they, in the fucking middle of it? They all have woos, but they're just distinct. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, funny thing, I, the first time I noticed as a kid, like, that sitcom laughter was canned. Because I just didn't really get it. I was pretty young. Stop laughing, Pat. <laughs> uh, it's canned laughter. Don't worry. <laughs> we got a soundboard over here. Yeah. Pat is actually just entirely I've controlled. I my own yeah. laugh, and I just push a button every time I need to fill space. Pat's just you're just computer generated AI software that we like. That we Pat, just Pat is not real. Put stuff into when I so when I first uh, started noticing laugh tracks and sitcoms as a kid, I, there was this one that stuck out to me, and it was in everything, everything. And it would end with this, like, <laughs> oh, I think I've heard it. Yeah, that. you have heard it. You have <laughs> yeah, heard it dude. millions of times. That sounds so familiar because like, I watch way too much TV to have not heard that shit. 
Yeah. And like every, I hear it as a kid, and I was like, wow, that guy laughs the same a lot. <laughs> he must go to a lot of these tapings. He likes all my favorite shows. He was at Fresh Prince of Bel Air and That So Raven. <laughs> wow. Wow. He's Lots just a of, little groupie. Yeah. Those are your favorite shows as a kid? Those are the two that you came up with off the cuff? It's like, all right, you like, no, I like Fresh don't... Prince, and I like Lats So Raven. Dude, I forgot Lats really So Raven black shows. Exists. My, like my sisters. Or... What about like Sister, Sister? My, sister, I, I watched, sister. I watched a lot of that, dude. No sister, way. Sister, Sister. I've seen a ton and of that. It came on dude, after Recess them... in the mornings. Oh, Recess was the shit, dude. Recess It was cool. basically like Recess and fucking... Uh... Pieces? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was, was now I e. don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> E.T., like e. my lighter. But my lighter is a dinosaur. Oh, the di- yeah. Wow. That and went off the rails quick. Moped. <laughs> I actually, that, that conversation was just a steady slope downhill into like just the abyss of nothing. One of the sister sister chicks, she oh, has a cooking oh, yeah. she has a cooking show now. Ooh. Is it just called Sister? Sister Cooking? Like what what is it? Sister. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, if, if they didn't take advantage but of that. But they don't like go off on the sister sister thing. She's just like the host. Oh, I don't know, okay. man. Sister That's cooking would have kind of an uncomfortable racial connotation. Well, I actually have seen a lot of sister sister because when I was a kid, my sisters would uh, both of them would essentially his, be the ones his, his sister and his sister. Yeah, his sister's sister and his sister's sister. Because <laughs> I was the youngest, they were always just controlling the remote. Oh so, yeah, he's yeah. got a fucking. Wrestle it away, man. Oh, no, that'd be weird if you have sisters. That'd be that'd just be unusual. <laughs> I guess. Uh, you end up like this uh, the ice cream section in the Bill Nye show. Oh God! <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> Don't Regime. even. Oh God. <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah. So I mean, you guys both watch that, right? You know. So like, it's, yeah, yeah. That's just a, it's kind of a mess. Which no, actually, uh, for, it's just Christian, you know, and his sister. Christian and his sister. Jesus Christ. And ice cream. Jesus Christ. And Could we move me? on? He must be in there too. <laughs> wow, that is the weirdest orgy. Like, that's your team. A, dude. <laughs> oh, God. But no, okay. Okay, moving on. Anyways, okay. the ice cream section of the Bill and I show. That was, it was interesting because it was like. For the first, like, for most of it, it was just yeah. totally benign and it was actually making a pretty good yeah. point, I think. Like, I don't say, judge other people. Yeah. Don't tell them what to fucking do, right? Well, and I would say, just go, if you haven't he- heard it, just, like, go watch it now. It's on YouTube. And just look up the Bill Nye ice cream sketch or anything like that. You'll find it. Yeah, and uh, if you don't want to do that, basically the premise is just... Mm, shit. The premise is basically just the white ice cream cone that start, had started a conversion <laughs> therapy for all of his other... Well, mm-hmm. I guess they're not his friends. His is misguided children that you know, mint chocolate chip and chocolate and strawberry and all that shit. Can I interject for a second? Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, get the fuck out. <laughs> We're done. Oh. We need a buzzer. <laughs> should I fuck ask? Off. Should I ask? Even though we're talking over each other. Um, <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I like to imagine, like, what got them in that situation? They had to willfully come there. Was it, like, a fucking court order or something? <laughs> yeah. Jury duty. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, they're, all their vanilla ice cream parents sent them there. Yeah, it was a unanimous decision by both Supreme Court members, yeah. Ben and Jerry. <laughs> God Whoa. damn it. Oh, <laughs> clever. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, but then it takes, it takes an interesting, pretty steep left turn about halfway through. Where rather than just teaching this guy that it's okay for them to have a sexuality, it then goes on to convince him to be in an orgy. With and all the ice creams. With, yeah, yeah. Which actually kind of violates all it's, of their own personal... Yeah, like, that's kind of true. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like... Uh, well, you know. Well, they, you, know they, I mean. you know, it's interesting because the, what they were actually pushing there in that <laughs> sketch, you know, and obviously it was for comedic effect and they might not have realized this, but it, it, in my eyes it almost seems like they were pushing polygamous relationships, not different types of sexuality. Yeah. Because it wasn't like all, any of these people had hangups banging any of these other people, which is not how sexuality works. It's not like if you're not white, you want to bang everything, which is kind of the message they sent with that, isn't it? Kind yeah. of. Because because they said like, oh. Oh, because it's all pent up. Well, no, 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 okay, because they, they all of the other ones that are supposed to be all these different flavors yeah. are willing to all have sex in a giant orgy, which is not how sexuality works if there was a gay guy but then like the strawberry which i would assume is a woman is a lesbian is not going to be willing to be in an orgy with the gay guy who only likes gay guys so really isn't it yeah almost unintentionally pushing polygamy not uh like different versions of sexuality well it's just saying being a slut's okay yeah kind of isn't it <laughs> yeah, like that's, it's, no, it's yeah. weird it's, it's, 
it's so weird. weird. It's it's the weirdest <laughs> message, and it's what I think happens with a lot of like this political humor, and it's kind of why I have somewhat of a problem with uh, this approach to trying to change people's minds is they choose the joke over the point. Yeah. And they can't come up with something that is really funny that also drives their point home in a, in a direct, accurate way. So they sacrificed their point to make this joke about an orgy when it really didn't send out the message. Because obviously, the intended message was the idea mm. of the sexuality spectrum. Yeah. It doesn't really show that. See, and that's a dangerous thing about... Um that type of uh, style of trying to convince somebody of your point, right? Where it's like, we're going to lay out what our position is. Here it is. We're going to give maybe a few vague pointers about it. Then we're going to make some bombastic display at the end yeah. that makes you say, I enjoyed that. Therefore, exactly. whatever it is must... It's mental manipulation to be like, yay. I'm not saying that that's purposely what he was no, going no, for. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I know exactly what you yeah. mean. That's, I think that's... That's right on the nose. It honestly. creates it seems... a connotation that they just latch on to. Yeah, and ah, man, it is, it's really disappointing because it's like, especially since I thought the show was supposed to be about trying to change people's perspective on stuff. I thought the show was supposed to be about uh, presenting information in a way that makes people who don't agree with these issues agree with them. But what it seems to be even far more is about pandering to people who already agree <clears> with them. For example, I, the the thing that even got me to watch one episode of this and like to start out was the fact that they did a GMO episode, and I thought that was really interesting because I was mm. like, I wonder what side he's on because you know uh, a lot. I don't I don't want to say a lot, but there's uh, mostly on the left is the people that are really against GMOs. Yeah, and uh, so I, they, it's they kind use, of universal. And the right really doesn't talk about it that much. No, not anywhere, much. Anywhere, just, anywhere really. Just like the Alex Jonesy types. But okay, yeah. yeah but uh, basically. They use this tactic that is my least favorite tactic. To uh, uh, Keep in mind that I thought this show was supposed to be about trying to convince people, not be a joke, and not be a joke for people who already agree with you. Mm. So they use this tactic in the GMO episode where they go to a farmer's market, and clearly a pretty big one. Mm. And they go around and they interview a ton of people, right? And they ask them all these questions. And then... They go into the editing studio, and they find the dumbest piece of shit bricks of people that they can possibly find, <laughs> and they take a two-second clip of this person and say, look at how dumb everybody is here. And it was, and the one they used is like these people, they asked them, what does GMO stand for? And it was like three or four people who didn't even know what the O stood for. They're like, genetically modified uh, organs, somebody said or something. <laughs> and it was like... Man, that's such bullshit. You know there were so many people there that answered them that right probably, and probably that had probably points, had, yeah. but they wanted to just make the other side look stupid. And that's, I agree with the GMO point, but yeah. I hate that tactic, and I see it used by every quote-unquote comedy news outlet. It's not, know? um, it's... Fuck, what was I going to say? It's not an unbiased perspective? No, 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 no. I was going with... I just totally fucking blanked out. Let's keep going. Oh <laughs> Jeopardy? No? All right. But yeah, no, I think that it is. It's a really unbiased way to look at... Uh, <laughs> you didn't catch on to that, Any kind you? of issue. You don't watch Jeopardy, dude? Do you know what Jeopardy is? I don't watch Jeopardy anything. music? You Jeopardy. I know what it is. Yeah, I just, oh, didn't, okay. I just didn't join in because you guys are herbs. Wow. Hey, at least wow. we're herbs, dude. <laughs> we're like, we could be marijuana. Excuse me. Like, I said herbs. I said herbs. I don't think I'd want to be... Said herbs. I think I heard herbs, too. It's weird. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Herbs. <laughs> But the point is <laughs> that I uh, that was, I mean, it was it was essentially that I don't think they approach it in an unbiased way, and I think that Bill Nye kind of throughout most of this stuff <clears throat> has this kind of air of uh, a condescending tone to him. Uh, See, I never really picked that up except in that thing you showed me with the panel. Yeah, the crystal healing yeah. guy. I don't, I don't, and I don't think crystals have really much of an effect at all. I don't think, I, I don't think. I don't agree with the guy, but I think Bill and I shouldn't have cut him off halfway through a sentence and ended the panel. And ended the panel, like, yeah. Like, come on, man. Even if you were running out of time, it's Netflix. They'll let you run two minutes over. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You don't have to... T like, the whole reason... You don't have fucking time commercials and fucking... That's why time constraints on stuff exist in the first place. Mapping of well, channels. It's dumb. It's clearly just him trying to shut the guy down. And the way he does it... Like, look up the video. The uh, I'm like, totally feeling what you're putting down. down. Yeah, or, but I'm not or, seeing I'm, I'm, it. I'm, yeah, yeah, whatever he's like, the I feel fuck what you're putting. Uh, yeah, I feel what you're putting down, man, but I'm just not seeing it. All right, that's all the time we have, guys. I got to get my sarcastic asshole point in. No, 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 no. What's happening is the world needs saving, and it needs saving quick. 
Yeah. Guys, we got to roll through these panels real. We got six <laughs> minutes to talk about we got, how to we're, fix we're on a fucking We only got six minutes to limit. save the world. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking... <laughs> Better get it fucking done. Well, if, if that's really what he was going for, the show was a complete failure then. The world still sucks. Update. In case anybody like hasn't... Like, you watch the show through and you haven't he fucked it up even more. It still sucks. He didn't really change anything. No, but and like I, I get the, the idea behind the show. I just really wish... I think it could have been executed so much better. And I just... It really... Uh, we were talking about this before and mm-hmm. gotten to a little bit, of, not like heated, but I think we just didn't really understand what, we were, what we were, both of us were saying. It's the fact that Bill Nye is, you know, I grew up thinking he was this really renowned scientist that had all this information and was had all these degrees and all this great stuff. Well, he does have a bunch and, of degrees uh, and he is a renowned scientist. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got, he's got one one degree. He has a bachelor's in engineering. He has six degrees and two PhDs. In what? I don't know. I, I had, okay, I had all of the specifics of his credentials because I had a feeling that this was going to be brought up, but my phone died and I have no access to the information. Pat, why don't you look that up quick? I'm going to, yeah. Because uh, I, I had heard a bunch of stuff that he was he only ever ha- got a bachelor's in engineering. He has a... Wow, he the has, se- the, the, sorry, but the second search when you put in Bill Nye is like Bill Nye degrees. Oh, what do you know? It's a second Google <laughs> No, yeah, search. when I was looking it up, it definitely dropped down. That's interesting. Oh. That's, that's so weird. I don't understand where that would have uh, came from then. From yeah. the f- what uh, you, what you got? Yeah. Well, oh god, <laughs> probably from a bunch just general ignorance. I in my research, Ooh. I came across this Pat, article. What? Oh. I came across this article from the Blaze, which for those of you who don't know is. Is that mine? Yep. Oh. <laughs> what? Pat's excited by a beer. I I've just found myself a Corona. There you go. For those of you who don't know, The Blaze is a Glenn Beck's fantasy network where he, he just, I don't fucking know. And they did this, I like, know shit about Glenn Beck. Yeah, you, you're better off that way. He did a, like, some sort of hit piece on Bill Nye where he's, he's not a real scientist and blah, blah, blah. And the article is going on about this exchange he had with some quack guy that CNN brought on to argue about climate change. And I was reading the article and the whole thing was just... Oh, my mind was melting because the scientific illiteracy was just... <laughs> An honorary doctorate in science. That means they gave it to him without him going through any of this stuff. Yeah. That's, you... that's, not a real, that's not a real degree. That's saying like, oh, you've been involved in the scientific community. It's, there's like Justin Bieber has an honorary degree in music from Berkeley. You've, if you've proven yourself yeah, in the field, Justin the education... Justin Bieber has an honorary hey, degree in music from Berkeley. Ian is right. No, no, it is, it is six honorary degrees. Yeah. That's not real. Those aren't real degrees. I don't know he if I'd say B, that. A, that's not, a, no, dude, that's gifted to you because Because you, like you have... You. No, it doesn't... They, no, there's no... Really? There's, there is no rule book that says you have to have done anything in the field. Like, it's just honorary. The, the, the committee gives it out because they're like, it's hey... Honor, if well, honorary which, which explains pulls that this back, itself. Which pulls this back to my original point, which uh-huh. is that... And I'm not trying to say he's a dumb guy. What I'm saying no. is that he is a talking head for <laughs> science as a community. He, while a smart guy, is not the guy... He's not the scientist that I thought he was growing up. He is the guy who relays the information, but he's not yeah. the guy who does the studies. He's not the guy who proves anything. He's just the guy who relays the information in a funny, original way, which is... You know, I respect him for that, but it's still like he's not the scientist I thought he was. He was on a, another thing that he accomplished. He was on the NASA team that helped build one of the crucial components for uh, the Mars exploration rover. That's so, interesting. Yeah, that's yeah. So but he still, has like, a lot of weight uh, in the science. And he was a professor at fucking where was it? Well, he's the head of the Cornell, Planetary Society now too. No, yeah. Cornell's where he went to school. Oh. He w- and he only got a BS in mechanical engineering. He was a professor somewhere. But see, like, with the honorary degree thing, I think it's, like, specific people in specific... Ca- like, sure, Justin Bieber. Kanye West got an honorary fucking thing yeah. in so it just... Doesn't shit. that kind of prove that honorary doesn't mean shit? It's like they award it because they like you and they think you've done cool stuff. It or mean- it's because it's an educational platform tied to the subject that you have shown a great amount of prestige in, so they're what like... What prestige has he shown? He was on fucking NASA's team building! So what about all the other guys? Uh, that are... I'm not seeing that anywhere, dude. The rover thing? Yeah, I'm seeing it on. I'm. I mean, I'm reading Wikipedia. It says that he applied to to NASA like numerous times, but was always rejected. What? This is what he says. And then he started doing stand up comedy. What? What? <laughs> I swear to God. That's he what quit Wikipedia... his job at Boeing to focus 
on a comedy career in 1986. <laughs> no. I'm not kidding. Whoa, I'm not wait kidding. a second. On he... October 3rd, 1986, Nia quit his job at Boeing to focus on a comedy career. That doesn't sound like he was... And then he met up he with was... Carl Sagan at Cornell and said, oh. okay, uh, I want to start a science television program. Huh. And that's how Bill Nye the Science Guy came about. He was involved in the Mars rover. All right, let me look, look up Mars rover. Specifically. Yeah, look up that specifically, because... Well, he might not have been... Well, you, you, you do freelance for that shit. So, like, it's not necessarily saying he was on the team. He might have built something that they were like, we're going to use it. That, that doesn't mean utilized. he was on the team, though. And I'm, I'm not saying that belittles it. I'm just saying... No, because that's, that's, that's like... Point. Yeah, that's still pretty an, heavy That's still an tech. impressive thing. But I don't know. I'm just not finding anything on that. I wish we had... Uh, I wish, yeah, 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 we had the actual information because I'm not seeing anything on any of that stuff. Oh, good yeah. thing my phone's but dead. <laughs> regardless, well, I mean, you, your phone was just notes. That's not proof. It's like, <laughs> no, I had, I had where I got it. Yeah. Still, whatever. The point is that he's not the scientist I thought it, I thought it was. When and, I was and this is where uh, you and I kind of differed. Where it's like I just think that that doesn't necessarily matter so much because so long as sure he's a talking head. But so long as the information that he's citing comes from credible sources who know what they're talking about and who have the credentials, but then that, to me it just doesn't matter. Okay, so if I train my parrot to recite a bunch of real facts from real scientists, does that mean my parrot can get a deg an honorary degree from a scientific community? No, and that's not why your parrot would get the degree. Um, well, first of all, if you did teach a parrot to do that, it would definitely still be able to teach people science. So, should, so, 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 my, so my parrot should be able to get an honorary degree. Then. No, I'm not saying that. So the, if your parrot was on the team helping, <laughs> was a part of the the process that helped build the Mars rover, and if it was a mechanical engineer with uh, multiple patents. But also, you know what's interesting is like the, I'm not taking shots as mechanical engineering, which is the thing you're yeah. quoting, the Mars rover thing. Because that saying, is science. Yeah. I'm not saying that he didn't do that. What I'm saying is all of the other stuff he talks about. Yeah, he doesn't have credentials yeah. in. Well, he doesn't and, have the credentials or experience in the fields. He doesn't I'm, have any yeah. experience in climate science, yet he's on every single thing ever about climate. Yeah, quoting information from climate scientists who know what they're talking and, about. And so so to me, that just is, doesn't so matter. If I could, so if I bought a parrot and put it on those uh -huh. talk shows... Would people learn about science? Yeah, but that doesn't make my parrot a scientist. It's just repeating what other smart people no, said. No, your parrot's mechanical engineering degree does. <laughs> so. No, dude, you keep falling back on a point that we move past. Well, yeah, I know, but that's because... You no, we set the premise, I say back. the thing, and then you move back to the original point. Yeah, because... Ugh, this doesn't work, dude. Yeah. You're, just, you're, you're, you're not getting what I'm saying, I don't think. No, I am getting what you're saying. You're... So He's a scientist for different reasons. He's a talking head and a scientist, He's, just because... Okay, yeah. how, how, okay. Oh. I'll just say this, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, because we've been talking in circles for yeah. fucking 15 minutes. Uh, he is more of an entertainer at this point than he is a scientist. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm not denying and that. And I think Dude, that that's I'm what, a really and okay, crazy and article that right is now. my only, that's the only thing I'm trying to get across. I'm not trying to discredit him. All I'm saying is I thought he was, I, I didn't think about him as an entertainer. I thought about him as pure science. But as I grew up, you look at it and it's like, oh no, he's an entertainer giving out information. He's not, he's not the guy <laughs> figuring this shit out in a lab. He's not the genius that did that stuff. Maybe he did the yeah. much over, but that's not what I'm talking about. No, yeah, yeah. So what, that's, that's the only thing I'm trying to say is I was disappointed to learn that he wasn't this crazy, you know, top of the line, smart, you know, the physicist. Work. Yeah, the guy comes to everybody in. comes to him for answers. Like that's what I thought of him, and so it was just disappointing to me when I learned he was more of an entertainer and a conduit for the information than yeah. he really was any at any time a source for the information. And with me, and, no, not source makes it, he was a source. He wasn't the original. I yeah. should say he wasn't and, the founder or anything. You know. And with me, it's like as long as that doesn't necessarily challenge the integrity of his work. Or what, what he's but doing. what is his work? His work is the entertainment and the Mars Rover. That's the two things. His work is to entertain people and spread knowledge. Yeah, and well, he, it's the yeah. same gripe that we have this conversation about Neil deGrasse Tyson all the time too. It's the same <laughs> thing. It's like, you, but yeah, you have Neil's some good stuff. got more. Well, he's got he's a, more his, credible, well, is he not? Well, in well his he field, his, in he's his got field, a, he's yeah. got a, like what a master's in. Uh, uh, I was about to say. Uh, Astrology, but <laughs> in uh, astronomy and stuff, and I think he might have a physics degree too. Mm -hmm. So again, he has, and, and it's the same thing. He has credibility in that field, right? And when he's and like the show Star Talk, that's oh, yeah, kind that's of right. like a... what they focus in. They focus in space and yeah. they focus in like time travel and you know like things like he probably knows about because 
his degrees are kind of, you know, yeah, a little up there on scale. Astronomy, physics, things like that. Yeah, so not I, mechanical I, yeah, engineering. Exactly, and he's <laughs> and that's why it's like okay, well, if you talk about that stuff and you can prove you're like knowledgeable in the field, fine. Yeah, a mechanical engineer talking about you know greenhouse gases. Yeah, and it's like obviously he can be like, he can be a conduit for that information, <laughs> and that doesn't and it doesn't make the information less credible, but it doesn't yeah. make him any smarter. No, it makes like I could do that. I could read. I those can read words articles and books and go and, speak uh, into a camera. Yeah, so I just I don't know. We've been talking about this for yeah. way too. Fucking to me, long it's not anyways. a big deal. Well, and it's, it's not. Yeah. I feel like you you think I'm, I'm like I hate him now or something. Like you keep no, you hate him for other reasons. <laughs> yeah, no, I hate him because he's kind of a condescending ass. But no, I don't. I don't hate the guy. I just think that he could do better to. Uh, be, like feel a little bit more unbiased. For example, when you look at the panels that he does do for uh, this show, it really is like he he just invites on people who already agree. So in the GMO episode specifically, he brought on a uh, person from Monsanto. He brought on a, a farmer who uses the products, and he brought along a college professor who does research in GMOs. Well, he also, for the GMO, that's the guy that he, he brought in the guy who disagrees who he happened to cut off. What I noticed... On GMOs? No, no, no. He didn't... Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking of crystal therapy. Yeah, I am thinking of that one. I, I noticed for uh, the panels that I did manage to see that I kind of saw, like, there was at least one guy on the opposing side. In which one? In I, the don't, cri- I don't remember Well, the there, in the crystal therapy one, there was... Uh, in the GMO one, there definitely wasn't because the only the only difference was like they I think he wanted the college professor to be the guy that was against it, but it's like he didn't check the guy's opinion before they fucking went oh, live then, yeah. because the guy was like, yeah, you know, I actually don't think uh, that they're that bad. And Bill Nye kind of stops, you know, and it's like, uh, oh, and, and see, now then that makes me wonder though, you know, like how how much prep work they even put into the show? <laughs> yeah, or like you know how much Bill Nye has to do with any of it. Well, and that's, and like you're and that's saying, another point. Is we, he and just that's why a face. I started off with this conversation. It, exactly, exactly. He's now the face. Someone of else is finding the people movement. and putting them on the show, and then Bill Nye is just getting thrown in there, saying you're because, just the speaker. Yeah. You're the because host. Because he is an entertainer. He's he's known yeah. for that, and that's what any he, they he, want our generation to soak it up. So they pick the guy who is from that, who was all sciencey from our era, and they'll go, oh yeah, we know Bill Nye. Bill Nye's yeah. a science guy. But in generally, I think... I, in general... In gen- you, you said that earlier. You said that earlier. You say that a lot. Let's be serious. Do I really? I think so. Jesus Christ. It's kind of like... I uh, caught myself twice and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? It's kind of like the... Uh, what was the other... <sighs> the other thing I say the, all the time? Yeah. Fucking, fucking hell. hell. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. Fucking hell. Ah, yeah. uh, fucking hell. I think we can all agree that the production on the show was a little uh, lackluster. Yeah. But even with that, like, watching through it, I found... I had problems with it, but at the same time, just listening to it, I was like, this is okay. Overall, yeah. it's not a terrible experience. It's, it's kind of interesting at parts, I'll I'll give say. you that. It's, yeah. it's not the show I wanted it to be. No, no, it's I not really, what I wanted I, it to I, be. I really wanted it to be a show about, like, cohesively explaining complex ideas in a simple way... And being unbiased about it, what it, it and that's everything that it isn't. It's so biased. It's so belittling to anybody who disagrees with you. They constantly like. I never picked they that poke, up. So even in so like it's, it's, even in something as ridiculous as the scream therapy episode, the like the <laughs> whole like they sit there and they make fun of it. That little skit they do and the girls constantly like, oh my god, this is so weird. Like they they put and they cut to her face during those. It's very much catered to make it look stupid. According to her, she wasn't even trying to do that. Yeah. yeah. I, well, no, but I again, know. it yeah. goes back to the production team and their intent. I'm not talking about the girl. I'm not trying to blame yeah. the girl. We're on the production <laughs> team now. And, uh, it's the fact that they chose those clips because it sent it. Uh, it directed the narrative that they wanted to push, which was the fact that oh, look how ridiculous this is. And it was the same thing with the crystal therapy. It was the same thing when they talked about anti-GMO stuff. It's just how it's how he talks to people, and it's how and it's not even how he Bill. It's how the show talks to people. It's the message the show sends as a whole. Yeah, well, the scream therapy one, when I was watching that, I, the first thing that I thought as it was getting through it, I was like, there's no way that this is not inspired by the correspondence on The Daily Show. It, 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 it is seriously like frame perfect one-to-one like that style. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way. There's no way it's not yeah. inspired I, by that. Yeah, I get, I, you know, and I guess we shouldn't have expected a ton because it was, it's, it's an entertainment show and it was picked up by Netflix. It's not going to be fucking groundbreaking. Let's face it. it never, I don't think it ever was intended to be groundbreaking, but I think it could have been, especially there's that video that we all watched uh, before this, which was basically just some guy reviewing it. And he referenced the, uh, 
the Ken Ham debate. Yeah. Where yeah. Bill Nye was so cohesive. And that's what I wanted him to put forth in this. Yeah. But he didn't. Yeah. He comes out with talking points and overdone rhetoric that's and just been said whack, a million times. Wackiness. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. And trying to compensate for like I don't know. It just yeah, exactly. He's just trying to be like more wacky and not really information heavy because he wants because again, it's catering to millennials it's entertainment. who don't give a fuck yeah. about like information. They just want to soak up all the It's the same reason I didn't like Cosmos. We are all they made want up the of atoms. Gratification. Now let me do a giant zoom in CGI thing of an atom bursting open and exploding. It's but like still, a Michael dude. fucking Bay movie. He's talking about Degrass Cosmos, not the good one. But, uh, oh, yeah, although yeah, I thought yeah, I thought yeah. both of them were good. But just still, not as. though, dude, even that is better. Better. The um. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. In all so, honesty, I, I, I agree it's better. I agree it's better. You know. <clears throat> I just I I didn't. I mean Neil is Neil. Mm-hmm. He's. Also that, but All like it's still the things him. that he touches. I mean, that's his <laughs> shit. You know, yeah. he knows that exactly, stuff. and he he has a pretty good voice for it too. Exactly, oh, hell yeah, you know, oh, like yeah. it just works. But uh, and I think it works to do what it wanted to do, which was to. Uh, just, catch the eye of all the high school stoners who didn't listen in science class. I'm pretty certain that's what he's going for. Probably, dude. Because that's and I think and everyone else. And know? I think that's why he starts out so basic. Because mm-hmm. he has to build from that. <laughs> it's really funny because I literally watched this last week. Yeah, I swear to God, yeah. the first like three episodes. <laughs> oh, See, and God. it's it's wacky, but it's not wacky in the way that Bill Nye was. No, awkward. used to be like in the old show, oh, it was a good kind of okay, wacky. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, it worked. And one of the wackiest things of all. That happened in the show, uh, I think was a little music rendition. Oh my god. That we can all How agree. How did we not even touch on this yet? Jesus uh, yeah. fucking Christ. Let's save the best for last. This is the epitome of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a song entitled... <clears throat> I don't know, guys. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how much I don't like it. It's entertainingly bad. It's a little uh, number called Sex Junk, which many... And I'm about to play an acoustic version. <laughs> My vagina... Why, why me and Christian harmonize? <laughs> My vagina Sex has its own voice. Its own voice. voice. <laughs> and beautiful. we throw in the millennial whoop like, <laughs> My uh, sex junk is so... Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> okay, so the song is, it's trying to, honestly, it has the right message where it's like, you know, people are kind of, they get to decide what they want to do sexually, and it's not foreign in the Man, animal kingdom. I don't even know but, about that. Wait, what that are you talking about? It lost its message in the song. Spazzy no, 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 no. Well, no, yeah, the message is not thrown across properly because of how fucking ridiculous it is. <laughs> and if you have not seen this, look up Sex yeah. Jump. Junk. Yeah, there's just only like one. Video look up Bill Nye's sex junk. junk. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! It's just like do it now. Just do it now before we even move on because yeah, pause. yeah. You need to see it. Oh, oh man. But basically, shout out to DJ now that, back, now that you're back, I'm sure your mouth is still agape because <laughs> of the horrors you just witnessed. But I mean, it's, I think it does. It really loses its message just trying to be so. Uh, for lack of a better term, like fellow kidsy, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a thirty-five-year-old hacky comedian. Sorry, whoever Bloom. I don't know uh, at all who she is. She's on uh, this. Sh- I think it's a show or a movie. Or she was on women Crazy Ex Girlfriend. Crazy Ex Girlfriend and Women Aren't Funny. Uh, was a show. It was like a show or something where basically a bunch of female comedians tried to prove that women aren't funny, which was kind of ironic because it got really shit ratings. Wait, aren't funny or are funny? Aren't. It's supposed to be like ironic. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's. Strange. But the show got shit ratings, so it kind of. <laughs> oh, so women are funny. See, it's <laughs> like a reverse psychology. Good God. Uh. But yeah, no, okay. So I think basically that it just comes down to trying to put entertainment over information. I think that's kind of a good culmination of everything that we've talked about today. It's it's. Yeah. It's taking. It's trying to wrap science and information into entertainment, but they don't quite have the formula down yet. It seems. It seems they're leaning too far to entertainment, and they're losing their value as an uh, as a program, especially when it comes to trying to be informational and uh, educational. You I've know, never seen anything that condescending in school that was actually trying to teach me something. You know what they do have? Hmm. Lots of schmear. I fucking knew it was going to be something like that. I was just waiting. <laughs> what? It, it's at the end of the sex junk video. Oh. Yep. Oh. yep. I was waiting for something. I think we Give were it up ranting. DJ Seahorse. I think at the at that point of the video, we were all just ranting about it, so <laughs> you kind of missed it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. She said something about how it's great as it's as good as bagels with locks. With yeah. Lots of schmear. Uh, it's just it's uh, it's so yeah. it's so dumb. Yeah. 
come on, home skillet, sing it with me. What the oh, fuck line is geez. that? Yeah. It's like uh, one last quick thing. A bunch of people on you. I, I at least saw one instance on YouTube. They refer to it as a rap. I guess it kind of is a rap, I mean, isn't it? Yeah. It? Yeah. I, I it's was like confused. that weird half sing rap that a lot of like it's like Twenty One yeah. Pilots rap. <laughs> yeah. I, I showed it to my dad and I was like, "Hey, like people are calling this a rap. What's up with that?" And he's like, "It kind of reminds me of when Blondie tried to rap." <laughs> I and don't think I've ever heard that. But yeah, it's it is it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow holy uh, shit all right well, yeah that's that, i think that's a good place to end guys yeah <laughs> i'm sex i'm bill nye's sex junk oh god hey, cheers to some more fucking cabo yeah cinco yeah. de mayo everyone go out yeah. and get fucking wasted you're probably yeah. not gonna listen to this because you're all drunk and as shit celebrate <laughs> please the victory over the french go yeah. out in yeah. like 1849 yeah. fuck right, the whatever. french fuck the french fuck dude. they tried to take puebla they were like fuck no super outnumbered super outgunned they were just like had a great leader so let's all Go out, celebrate. So now, we celebrate so now get boozed up. Get yeah. drunk and have ice cream orgies. Yep. <laughs> oh. Sounds good. Cheers. Oh, okay. Check us later for after hours. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Where we bang different types of ice cream. <laughs> I call mint chocolate chip. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going home. <laughs> I, oh, I want moose All tracks. Right. Cheers, guys. <laughs> good Lord. Mm. As always, these are your hosts, Ian. Christian. And Pat. Signing off.